Hey, what's up everybody? So here we are and we finally made it to the Splintered Wand. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with what the Splintered Wand is, it's essentially a Harry Potter themed bar slash restaurant. And okay, the, one of my favorite moments from Harry Potter is when Frodo and Sam were going down toward Death Mountain or whatever, and they got to throw the ring in. I'm just kidding. I know that's uh, Lord of the Rings. Anyways, really, really cool, fun and unique themed bar. Cause again, when I made this reservation back in October, uh, like middle of October, I was not really expecting to get reservations right away and it basically took about two months for them to kind of finally contact me and say, hey, we have a reservation available for you. And as a result, as a result, we have the coolest, the coolest seats in the bar. So if you guys remember from the movie Harry Potter, first one, second one, I don't remember, is where Harry Potter was basically sitting or sleeping underneath the staircase and that's exactly where we are right now. They actually have a table booth where it's literally underneath the staircase to the second floor. And so, honestly, coolest area in the restaurant. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of a look and see what the Splintered Wand area actually looks like. So one thing I have to mention is that when you first take a look at the menu, the menu can be very, very confusing because everything is pretty much all over the place. The font and all that doesn't necessarily fit together, but we ended up ordering what's called the toad in a hole as well as the Mwaha Mara dip. So what the toad in a hole essentially is, is basically roast beef, Yorkshire pudding mixed with some brown gravy. And then the Mwaha Mara dip is basically a lavash, harissa oil, walnut, and gremolata. Something like that. But it looks really, really good, really, really tasty, and can't wait to try it. One of the other things you're gonna notice when you first look at the menu is that they have a very, very extensive absinthe menu. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with absinthe, apparently there's a rumor that if you drink absinthe, you're gonna hallucinate or do some all that stuff. Honestly, I don't feel it, but whatever. But absinthe is basically a very, very potent um, star anise uh, alcoholic beverage. And when I have a sip of this, particular alcohol, it's, you could definitely, definitely, definitely taste the star anise. So I can't imagine what the other absinthe flavors would taste like because very, very overpowering otherwise. And the other drink that I'd highly recommend everyone ordering is the, it's called From the Depths. And basically what the From the Depths basically consists of is a dark rum with some pear, wassail, orgiet, lime, coconut. But the one unique thing about this drink is that they basically added some some basically solid carbon dioxide, which basically gives it that little bit of that cool, misty flavored drink. And one thing I would definitely, definitely, definitely take caution is when you're sipping this drink, because it happened to me, is if you take it way too strongly, it's gonna basically go up your sinuses and it's gonna make you react a certain way. So definitely, definitely take caution uh, doing that. So for dessert, we ended up ordering what's called the clinging coffee pudding. And I have to say, Highly recommended, primarily because of the sauce that comes with it, as well as the overall texture of the toffee. So when you end up cutting it, biting it, very, very soft on the inside, very, very crunchy and delic decadent on the outside. So very, very highly recommended. Although the most popular thing that most people end up ordering is called the spitting fizzle nest, primarily due to the fact that the way our order, our way to describe it is, it's, 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 a, it's a novelty item. So what they do is it's like cotton candy, ice cream, and they end up putting like pop rocks on the top and they end up putting some type of liquid in it, some type of crazy concoction. It's more of a fancy item rather than something that tastes good. So depending on you want something that tastes good or something that's more of a novelty, your choice, right? So anyways. All right, everybody, so that's basically it for the Splintered Wand. And I do have to say that the alcoholic prices are a little bit expensive. I mean, just, to, just due to the fact that we got two appetizers, two drinks, and a dessert, the bill ended up coming out to about $90. I mean, again, really, really pricey. 
you are definitely, definitely, definitely paying for the experience. And it's definitely a unique experience for those of you who are really, really into Harry Potter. And I'll be honest, it's not really, I mean, it, it is a Harry Potter themed bar slash restaurant, but I don't really notice any Harry potter rest theme to it, if you know what I mean. I mean, it's a very, very like unique theme bar, but not a lot of Harry Potter references other than that one area with like the wanted sign and the picture of the people. Maybe a broomstick here and there, but other than that, that's basically it. So anyways, uh, again, highly recommend if you guys do want to end up coming to the Splintered One, make a reservation online uh, and just pick a date. Just pick a date and they'll let you know if there's a spot available. And a lot, like for me, for example, I initially picked an eight o'clock spot. It was not available and they ended up emailing me the day before asking me if I want to come at a, either a six o'clock or a 9.30. And obviously I opt up for the 9.30 just because it gives you a little bit more flexibility and time to just basically hang out and just really, really enjoy without feeling like you have, you're have you getting kicked out, right? If you choose a 6 o'clock, I can't imagine it'll let you stay here till like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock till closing time. So something like that. So anyways, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button because I would really, really appreciate it. And thanks for everyone who's stick around, stuck around with me so far on this awesome, awesome journey. So all right, guys, have a good one.